The 231st aphorism of the Dhammapada states, watch for anger of the body, let the body be self-controlled, hurt not with the body, but use your body well. What sort of anger isn't of the body? How can you control yourself without controlling your body? These are the questions Buddha implies to plummet the importance of his body. The anger that feels like an out-of-body experience is existential anger. Why the hell am I here? Controlling your frustrations requires focusing your inner eye on your body like a satellite connects to the earth while revolving around it. Distancing you from your body will make it possible to perceive more of you and with greater perspective. To see and laugh at your anger will make it possible to question why God puts you through irritating experiences to distance you from the external world. This not only makes you a better observer of others' actions, it makes you a better observer of your own. It gives you a way to witness your behavior without getting caught up in your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. God had to create the Eastern faiths to teach us how to witness ourselves mindfully. Just knowing that God is witnessing us isn't enough. As the serpent in the tree of knowledge implied, man has the potential to become like God, but that power requires separation from your body. Hinduism, Buddhism, and Taoism are the keys to self-separation through mindfulness. The 235th aphorism of the Dhammapada states, yellow leaves hang from your tree of life. The messengers of death are waiting. You are going to travel far away. Have you any provisions for the journey? The fig leaves Adam and Eve used to cover their genitals are the Vedas. The yellow leaves that hang down from your tree of life are the messengers of death. You're going to travel far away from here, whether your family's religious tradition comes out of the East or West. The provisions you need for your journey is wisdom, not knowledge. Wisdom is traditionally depicted as coming from the head, but there isn't enough wisdom in all of Judaism or contained in all of Israel to prepare you for the journey that awaits you. You're going to have to harvest enlightenment from all seven of the world's faiths to be prepared when you go. Good thoughts. We'll talk again tomorrow.